Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wow, how quickly the weather changes in Virginia. I tell you, I tell you, but this is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. I tell you, I had to come back out and put my jacket and my turtleneck on. I'm on track. I'm Gail Gilmore. And uh, I got my gloves on and everything. I need to go back to the car and get my knit hat and put it on. But anyway, oh my goodness. But God is good. A little nippy, a little chilly. But the more I walk, the warmer that I get. But uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Monday. As I always say, Mondays is a sign we can start all over again. And we got another chance to get it right. I hope everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day. A wonderful Mother's Day that you honored your mothers and those that have acted in the capacity of mothers and also to remember the memories of our mothers that have passed on. I had a lovely day yesterday. I want to thank my children and all of those that gave me beautiful gifts and express expressions of appreciation. I really do appreciate it. Um, this morning, I was just thinking about the greatness of God and I ran across a verse in my devotions um, Psalms 111 and 2. Great is the works of our Lord. And the rest says, those that delight in them, we just ponder, we just wonder, we just study his great works. You know, sometimes for me, I just sit back and just you know, I, I, I'm just in awe of the greatness of our God. Even in the midst of, 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 of um, bad times, troubling times, sad times, because I always come to, to the conclusion that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. Even in the midst of our lowest times. I look at the timing of God. I look at the way that he does things. And even in the midst of everything, um, he is still great. He's even great in the midst of even the worst things that may be going on in your life. I, I don't care if it's a loss. I don't care if, uh, you know, uh, lack of finances or uh, lack of bad health, even in all of that, God is still great. You know, I, sometimes uh, that's always been my testimony is uh, I will bless the Lord at all times, even in the midst of those times when are uh, sad or hard. And I think somebody needs that this morning because after it's all over, we just sit back and we just, we just, I do. I stand in the awe of his greatness because, again, it's like a movie script. God knows the beginning from the end. We're just in the movie, but he knows the script, and he knows how the story ends for you and for me, especially if we are called according to his purpose because we know that he loves us and he wants the best for us. And he doesn't put more on us than we can bear. So just keep that in mind. Just sit back sometime. Even in the midst, sometimes when you're in the middle of the, the tragedy or whatever, you can't see it. But when you, when you step back, just study and ponder the greatness of our God. You have a good beginning of the week. I hope it gets warmer as the as the week goes by, but they said we're going to have a few cool days. But still, think about the greatness of our God. Bye-bye.